Hi, I'm Hannah Lee Jones, and welcome to this week's Masks Cast, the weekly online update video about what's been happening in the mask community this week. In this week's edition, I chat to David Lusso about his time at Aberdeen University before he moves to DTU this summer. I also chat to the convener of the latest Masks Forum, the Climate Change Forum. First up, we would like to extend our congratulations to Deborah Wood from Stirling University and Matteo Masco from UHI on recently passing their vivas. Well done, guys. This week's webinar is now available online and was hosted by Maeve Moriarty from Marine Scotland Science. If you would like to register for any of our upcoming talks, please use the registration link that can be found below. If you would also like to present a webinar, please email us at mass at standrews.ac.uk. We have plenty of availability in July and any upcoming months as well. And now, after 13 years at Aberdeen University, Professor David Rousseau is moving to DTU Aqua in Denmark. I asked David to reflect on his time at the institution and being a MAS member since 2010. Time passed by really quickly and uh, and so for those of you that are starting careers, um, just make sure to enjoy it along the way. Um, so it's, it's you know, we've entered really uncertain and, and complicated times and, and sometimes it can feel like we've got to um, uh, react really quickly to all sorts of things and then sometimes because of that we forget to, we forget to enjoy it along the way so this is a way to kind of think about that um i've been very lucky with mast you know in in that it's it was a um, a great place to really interact intensively with a lot of people uh, uh i i've i've worked i've always worked across social sciences and ecological sciences and 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 a bit of math stats and physics and and math is a, is a really good fit for me because of that, because um, you could kind of, you had colleagues across a wide range of institutions that you could, that were an email away to, to ask questions on all these different um, uh, um, frontiers or, or kind of directions, if you prefer. That's been good. Oh, that's great. And it's nice advice for our early career researchers. Can you spare us a moment just to explain the new position that you're taking up at DTU, please? Sure, of course. So I'll be joining the National Institute of Aqua Aquatic Resources, uh, which oh, more than a decade ago now um, uh, was um, incorporated in the Danish Technical University, um, and uh, I will so which is called DTU Aqua uh, as a department in DTU, uh, and I'll be I'll be the, I'll take the post of Professor of Marine Sustainability uh, in in the in the institute. Um, so I'll, I'll join a team which is really interesting because essentially <laughs> the team is very similar to MAST's uh, in that it is a uh, it is a merger of both uh, academics and practitioners uh, and advisors and consultants that, that we need across the different type of institutions that we have in MAST, uh, all joined into one institute. So we get to I'll get to work quite nicely with people. Uh, along that spectrum from you know academia to uh, to advice I, I think the exciting part for me in, in joining is that really my remit is to really understand um, how we kind of get we kind of develop a, a sustainable blue economy uh, so it's really going to be about trying to understand interactions among the different marine sectors uh, and the regulatory challenges they are meeting and then finding socio-ecological solutions to that so how do we kind of make sure we you know really maximize the use of marine resources we can do without damaging them and, and, and in a sustainable manner but at the same time devising kind of management and govern governance scheme uh, which means that we're also taking care of the communities that are using those resources um, and, and not in a uh, top-down way but actually really making sure that these com communities can flourish and foster and be fostered in flourishing so yeah. But uh, if people do want to remain in contact with you, um, but only know your Aberdeen address, how is the best way to get in back in contact with you? Yeah, so uh, I've got a Gmail address. So it's my name with a dot in the middle and, and Gmail. Um, but the, perhaps the easiest way is, is uh, just on Twitter. So um, I'll, I'll, uh, if you just uh, pop a message on Twitter, uh, at Lusso, um, and, and I'll, uh, that one is, that account is staying throughout. So, so I'd be easier to kind of connect in that way. Great. Thank you very much for talking to me and good luck at DTU. Thanks for that. Thanks for having me on your show, Anna. <laughs> the contact details David provided can be found below this video. 
For all you runners out there, Kathy King, a PhD student from SAMS, has recently set up a Facebook page for virtual team marathons. If you would like to get involved or find out more, please use the link that is below this video. In September 2019, the Ocean Observation Conference happened in Hawaii. MAST members from SMUR Instrumentation team also attended and have presented a series of videos about their work. These videos have now been uploaded to the MAST's YouTube page. Up next, I chat to B. Burks about being the convener for the recently formed Climate Change Forum for MASTs. Hi B, thank you very much for agreeing to talk to me and feature in the MASTs cast video. Um, you are the convener of our nearest forum, the Climate Change Forum. Uh, do you mind telling us uh, what kind of instigated that and uh, who you have involved already in the forum? Okay, so um, about a, this time last year, the First Minister announced the climate emergency. And at the time, I um, was the theme leader for the dynamics and properties of marine systems um, theme. And we already started to realize that there's no clear climate change related, marine climate change related forum within um, mass. And we, we, we were discussing whether that's a gap or not. And about a similar time, I decided to take on a new role, or I got offered the opportunity to take on a, a new role um, within Marine Scotland Science, which is temporary, um, to be their um, climate change lead. And so I was asked to relinquish my um, theme leadership, but I realised that that may provide me with an opportunity to um, instigate this climate change forum within uh, MASS, which will focus mainly on marine climate change. Um, we are still, the, so the steering group is made up of about five people currently. Um, it includes, I'll probably forget someone and that, that'll be brilliantly embarrassing, uh, but it includes um, Rayanne Miller, who's the convener also for, or one of the conveners for the Renewables Forum within MASS. Uh, Bill Austin, who's a professor at St. Andrews, um, who's very interested in blue carbon and who also um, is very involved with SAGES, which is one of the other pooling initiatives, which also does a lot of climate change related um, work. And um, it includes a new lady called Cara, um, who's coming from Canada to Aberdeen University, um, which is very exciting to get new people involved in the forum. Um, and Chris Leakey, sorry, who is also very involved in maths and climate change initiatives at the moment. Um, and so we had a, a, a discussion last week where we're starting to kind of narrow down the original, when I originally proposed the forum, it had quite a broad remit. And I think we've all realized that that's too broad and that we should probably pick a few things which we're going to focus on our attention on. And um, so we actually achieve something and not just become a talking shop. Mm -hmm. um, but there are opportunities to join the steering group, so people should definitely get in touch if they would like to um, join the steering group, especially maybe early career researchers or PhD students who want to be um, on the steering group of one of the mass forums, then we definitely welcome um, people to get in touch from those backgrounds as well. Yep, great. And uh, do you have any plans coming up in the next few months for uh, the Climate Change Forum? So the Marine Climate Change Forum is already planning um, a kind of topical session at the next um, annual science meeting, which will hopefully be in person, but I'm quite sure if it's not, we'll find a solution and um, we will um, propose something um, as part of whatever is organized. Um, and so I would really hope lots of people who are studying um, marine climate change are interested in submitting abstracts and it, I think, the the discussions in the steering group have been that although we need to focus our remit that we're quite happy for the science session to be quite broad so it could be on mitigation of climate change emissions um, it can be on adaptation to climate change and it could be on what the current impacts in the marine environment are and i'm quite sure the scottish community is very active in all three of those um brands so it'll be exciting to see what's going on yeah, so very much watch this space and uh, accepting yeah. of all ideas that relate to climate change. That's really good to hear. Um, and we welcome this forum into the mass community. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. Yeah. No worries. Thank you very much for talking to me. For those of you who didn't spot, 
Bee is actually our next Mars webinar presenter with the great interactive climate change quiz. So if you want to get involved, remember the link is just below this video. I'm now handing over to Mark James to present the latest update about the SMMR programme. Hello everyone. Um, I've just been asked to give you a quick update on where we are with the SMMR programme. That's the Sustainable Management of UK Marine Resources programme. Uh, many of you will be aware that David Patterson, myself based at St Andrews, are supposedly the champions um, of, of the SMMR programme. We've been working quite closely with our colleagues at NERC and ESRC to develop the announcement of opportunity and we can now tell you that that is likely to be released on the 15th of May. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, somewhere down here you will see uh, the uh, URL for uh, the SMMR programme at the website and everything you need to know can be found on that website, the NERC website and also the ESRC website. Uh, the announcement of opportunity is quite detailed and we can also tell you that now uh, the deadline for the submission of proposals has been extended. So in this case, from the date of the announcement of opportunity, we're hopeful that UKRI will sanction a 20 week deadline for the submission of proposals, which will give everybody hopefully enough time to make the connections that they need to and to develop good proposals. Uh, we've also been asked to include uh, now uh, a period for notification of intent to submit. So from the date that the announcement of opportunity is released, there will be four weeks for people to complete online uh, a notification of an intent to submit. And that's really just a very brief outline of the sort of proposal that you want to pull together. Uh, and for our purposes, it's really to help guide uh, ourselves, uh, NERC, ESRC, as to the scope of the proposals that are likely to be submitted and also for people to uh, make requests, for example, for information on potential partners that they may uh, wish to engage with, uh, and also uh, for us to help people make the necessary contacts with uh, policy divisions, uh, the policy stakeholders that we all need you to talk to. We've had a number of meetings now with policy stakeholders, principally from DEFRA Marine Scotland, but also some representatives from Wales, uh, and. Uh, the idea is that we want to find contact points within each of our policy stakeholder groups uh, so that when the program is launched we can make sure that those contacts are in place to be able to discuss how proposals might for example be developed uh, so i would urge you to look on the smmr website uh, the videos that were created for uh, the, the launch workshop are now on the website uh, today you will also find uh, a frequently asked questions document which reflects some of the questions that were asked uh, at that uh, stakeholder event and other information will now start to appear on the website in the run-up to uh, the announcement of opportunity which as I say we're hopeful will be on the 15th of May. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, we'll be in touch. That's it for this week's Masterclass. If you have any information that you would like to be put into these videos or to have a chat with me please email masks at standrews.ac.uk. That's it for now, so have a great weekend and stay safe.